If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out the song that I posted like a week ago. It's got over 10,000 views and like 500 likes. So I put it on Spotify and Apple Music and all of the streaming services, SoundCloud, all that stuff. Check me out, get me famous so I can beat up Blueface. Jumping right into this, okay you guys? We're talking about your hips and how you want them in relation to your opponent. If you haven't watched the video I posted yesterday, go watch it, all right? You need to watch that, understand that, to understand this. I learned all of this information through coaching, okay? No one taught me this, I learned this by watching people, observing, and when you're standing and when you're on the bottom, how you want your hips flips, okay? The second your knees hit on the ground, the whole thing flips. The second a hand touches the ground, the whole thing changes, okay? So when you're standing, your idea, ideally you want your hips to go beneath your opponent so you can attack and pick them up. When you control, like I said yesterday, when you control the legs and the hips, you're controlling like three quarters of the whole animal, okay? When your hips are under, so when your hips are underneath theirs, your legs can just pick them up so much easier. Try it in practice, try, try. Like that, that's why we level chains, that, that's why we do all of these things. This has been sewn into wrestling and you don't even understand. This is like a fundamental rule of wrestling and you like, nobody just, nobody tells you this, all right? When you're standing, you want your hips beneath your opponent. The lower man wins, but you, as far as in the takedown battle, the lower man wins, all right? The second a hand touches the mat, the second you get taken down or they take you down, you want your hips above theirs, all right? This is how you win. This is how you win like the, the bulldog fights, like, if I had another opponent here, he'd be right here, and his arm would be behind my back, my arm's behind his back, all right? This is what we would call a bulldog position. You'd have a head position like this. You want higher hips. If he's on top of you, if he's on top of you, and he's got a takedown, he starts uh, in referee position, whatever. If you can get your hips higher than his, this is what you do for a Granby roll, all right? This is what you do to create space so he doesn't control you. Once you understand this rule, you can do so many goofy things. Like, you're really just trying to create a little bit of space and get your hips higher than his so that you can put your hips on top of his. Ideally, he, ideally, ideally when you're on top, you want your hips flat on top of theirs, all right? This is how you have the absolute most control. And you do not get off of this position, you do not get off of the hips unless you control something else up top, all right? Or a leg. So you never get off of this, like when you're on top, you never wanna get off of this parallel position. So if you're the guy on the bottom and you can work your hips out and create that little bit of space, all right, and he's not controlling anything up here, and you get your hips higher, it's gonna be so much easier. You can literally just reach around and like put your arm on top of him and then all of a sudden like, the whole game changes, you know what I'm saying? You control a man through his hips. You control a man through his hips, all right? When you guys are neutral, you need to get underneath him and undermine his hips. You need to undermine the leverage that his hips have with your own hips. When you're on top, you need to control his hips with your hips, all right? Literally, like, you literally just, like, it like it seems super gay. It seems like, like you don't wanna do it. I mean, like, it did when I was learning, like, <laughs> When I was learning at first, like, like good leg riding and all that shit, you really want your hips right behind theirs, like right behind theirs, wiener in the butt, like, like literally, like <laughs> as as dumb as it sounds, as dumb as it sounds, you need your hips like smack on top of theirs unless you're controlling an arm and a head or two arms or you you know what I'm saying? The first form of control is the hips on top, and the first form of control you need to break while you're on bottom is the hips, it's usually the easiest to break. If he's not on your hips, you can pretty much stand up. If you're not a pussy, bro, if you're not a pussy, okay, and he's like this, and he's trying to turn you or some shit, all right, he, let, let's say he, let's say he only has a half, only has a half, all right, he doesn't have the arm, all right, and he is perpendicular like this, and you're like this. If you're not a pussy, you should be able to just put your feet on the mat and like push into him and stand up and square up, all right? Try this in practice, all right? Try having someone with a half, try their absolute hardest. Let them get it deep, all right? Let them get it deep, but they can only have a half, nothing else, and you just gotta stand up, okay? Try this in practice, I'm telling you, it's gonna work. It's gonna work, but just get your feet planted on the mat and literally stand up, because like get your hips high and walk your feet towards your hips. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like this, it's gonna look like this. Beep. And then you put your hips up, and then you literally just walk your feet under, 
and you can push into him and stand up. All right, so he's on top of you. He goes perpendicular. All right, you stand your butt up. He's trying for that half. He's trying for that half. All right, you stand your butt up, and you can push into him. You can step over him. You can, as long as your hips are higher than him, than his, you're gonna win the battle. So understand those two rules, and may God have mercy on your soul. All right. <laughs> Uh, good luck wrestling. Wrestling season starts soon. Uh, comment what kind of videos you want. Do you guys want weight loss videos? Do you guys want stamina videos? Like, like what, what do you guys like? What topics do you guys want me to cover? Uh, do you guys want tutorials? I've been thinking I want to do like a live uh, match review, but I have to figure out exactly how I'm gonna like what camera I'm gonna use. If, if any of you guys are good at streaming, please send me your setup and like how you. Like how you do it, because every time I use OBS, it like it sucks. It's honestly terrible. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my song, stream me on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, literally everywhere. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.